Today we're going to try something a little bit new for this video, and I'm using an app called Display Recorder. You guys tell me if you like this more than standard tutorials just videotaped. I'm sure you will. Um, I'm going to jump into settings here because today we're going to talk about lock info and how to maybe tweak that or configure it to where uh, it's going to do the best for you. As you'll notice, I have a recording thing at the top of the screen. That's because this app currently does not record audio, so I'm trying to kind of sync this up to make my life easier. So ignore that, and we're going to hope that my springboard doesn't crash. I'm assuming it probably won't. It's not eating up too much memory. I tested it earlier, and it seemed to work okay. So we're going to jump into lock info here. I've heard a lot of people ask questions about how to configure lock info, um, what are optimal settings. You're going to see up here you have options to jump into plugins. Um, when you click, click get more plugins, you're going to be presented with a bunch of ways to jump into Cydia here and get all of these different plugins that you can add to your lock info. Um, my thing with this is I don't, notifications does a pretty good job and it's built in. So I don't use like the Twitter plugin. Um, I would like to use the Apigo to do plugin. If any of you have gotten that to work, please tell me how, because I have configured that and installed it so many times and restored and it just doesn't want to work with my Apigo to do. So if you guys figure out how to use that, you let me know. Um, so let's jump back over here. Um, I'm just going to go to one of these. I'm going to go to notifications. And you're going to see that you're going to have quite a few settings here to tweak and configure. Um, collapse by default means that that section will be collapsed. So maybe if you want a little bit more privacy, you don't want people seeing things on your lock screen, you can do that. Um, show count has not worked for me under iOS 4.1. It did under previous um, iOS versions. Not sure if that's a bug right now. Um, show delete button gives you the option to dismiss notifications. Um, it'll show a little X. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, reverse order will basically present newest to oldest, etc. You can switch the way they present. Um, what I do is I have Boxcar configured to launch Tweety or Asfura or whatever Twitter client I'm using at that time, and I'll click that, that notification right from the lock screen, and it'll pop me right into my Twitter client. So that's why I don't really install the Twitter plugin. That and the fact that it, the Twitter plugins you have to set to refresh at intervals, and that drains your battery pretty quick. Um, SMS, you can, okay, let's jump into visibility here. All of them have this. I don't use the home screen lock info function. I just use info shade, which um, I have a setting and activator setting to where if I hold down on my status bar, an info shade will pop down that will basically show me um, a presentation of everything that I have. I can dismiss things from there. I can do it from anywhere. Um, let's jump back in here and let's look at... Um, status bar icon, I don't have that enabled because I use iReal SMS and it has its own icon. I prefer that one, so I go ahead and use that one. But if you'd like to use that and you're just using the default texting app, if you enable that um, where you see my little mail icon at the top, you'll get a little chat bubble icon when you have a text. Um, improved performance, only use that if you're using the default, not a third party. Um, you can also, there's a setting in here. Let's see if I can find it. I'm pretty, I thought it was under here. Um, yeah, tap to reply. You can configure this. Um, I really liked T-Alert, but there's no setting for this. iReal is a little bit more powerful anyway. That's what I use. So I have it set to launch iReal SMS, not um, the iPhone Messages app or Byte SMS. I have it launching iReal. Um, let's go back into Lock Info General Settings. You can pick your font size, your header sizes. Um, you can allow or unallow scrolling. I allow it because Twitter notifications tend to grow pretty quick, so I have it to where it'll allow me to scroll through those. Um, collapsible sections, I have that enabled because some of the sections, like my calendar, I keep collapsed unless I want to see those events. Um, and another way around uh, notifications for Apigo to do that I've found is I have alerts set and it will pop up in notifications on my lock screen or on info shade when I select those. Um, let's jump into info shade. And you can choose activation, how you want to activate it. If you jump in there, it's going to give you the option to set how you want it to. You can see that I have it set. I hold my status bar and it launches that. Um, activator is another setting. I'll show you that in a second. That's available in settings also. Opacity. 
um, you can choose to have that full screen, um, cells and headers, cells only, or transparent. And as you slide this little bar, it'll make it more transparent or less transparent to where it's solid, and then you don't see the background. I have it set to where you can see it on my you can see my picture on my home screen background behind it, and I'll show you that in just a second. I would show you Info Shade, but I think it might cancel my recording or jump me into that. Let's see if that'll. Oh, there we go. So this is Info Shade right here. Um, you can pull this down from anywhere. The way you get out of it, you can either tap the home button or you can tap anywhere on the screen and it'll go away. So let's pop back out of here. Activator up here is what I was talking about. Um, let's just click into any single one of these. Click into that and you can select any one of these gestures and it's going to present you with a list of apps that you have installed that support Activator. So right here I could pick Lock Info Shade but I already have that shortcut selected for when I hold down on my status bar. So let's go back and let's go to our home screen and I'm going to put my phone to sleep so it's going to get dark for just a second and then I'm going to pop it back on and when I slide, oh it shows my voice recording, but on my home screen it basically, and I'll post some screenshots of that, it shows my lock info, but let's jump back into info shade so I can show you some more of this. These are my emails at the top and then my notifications, you can see boxcar, if I had beehive IMs it would show those underneath it and each section will have this is where it said um, allow delete so I can go ahead and dismiss these if I want by just tapping that I can also jump into any one of these emails right there it'll give me a quick preview and if I click this little icon down here to the right um, down here it will allow me to jump into the mail application I can also discard emails from this so I can click done and I can drop down my calendar events. And that's about lock info right there. Um, Twitter, like I said, I don't use, I use notifications for almost everything because it saves battery. But if you did want to add Twitter plugins, RSS plugins, you simply go to more plugins. And when you click these, you will pop into Cydia. So if I clicked Appago to do, which I'm not going to install. It would jump me into Cydia, right to that plugin, and I can go ahead and install that. Um, but I'm going to close out of this, and I'm going to go back into settings for a second. And I'm going to go back here. And let's see if there's anything else we can talk about. Let's jump into um, Info Shade. And you'll see you have shortcuts for activation pretty much everywhere you could possibly set that. Um, directional swiping, show close bar, which um, you can go ahead and I don't really know what the close bar is. If anyone actually knows what that is, I'm not too sure. And you'll see by mail you have little refresh icons. So if you think that maybe you have mail or it hasn't refreshed, you can go ahead and click that and it'll go ahead and refresh it. Um, reset to top, it'll set it back to the top of the position of the screen. Again, you can adjust the opacity and the transparency on this just like you can on the lock screen, which I'll post pictures of my lock screen as well. Um, you'll have some facts. You can report issues. Um, I reported the fact that I couldn't get Apago to do to work, but um, I think that might be a bug. But um, if you guys have any additional questions or you have tweaks on lock info that you've used in the past, um, and like I said, you know, you can set any of these sections to collapse on their own. So if you want a little bit more privacy, you can go ahead and um, collapse them by default and you're actually going to find that under each individual plugin. So if I don't want my mail to show, I can set that to collapsed by default and it'll be collapsed so people can't see my, uh, they can't see my mail if they look at my lock screen. And then you can configure what accounts you want on there, etc. So you can see that I have three accounts that show on my lock screen. My tip B account shows every single comment left. So I don't have that. I have it activated in my mailbox. But if you guys have any little tweaks or suggestions, um, go ahead and leave them below. If you have things configured that uh, maybe I don't, leave those tips for users in comments or um, in forum.tipb.com. And if you guys have any questions, let us know. Thanks, guys.